Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about the kinds of crops that can grow inside the leafy green machine. The LGM is optimized for leafy green production, so that includes lettuces like butterhead, bib, lola rosa, leaf lettuce, oak leaf, and romaine. These can be grown as mini or full head lettuces. The LGM can also grow greens like Swiss chard, mustard greens, pak choy, and one of my favorite crops, kale, as well as herbs like basil, cilantro, thyme, and shiso. All plants start as seeds in the seedling station. After germination and an additional two weeks of growth, the seedlings are transplanted into the vertical towers. The plants will continue to grow in the towers until they reach maturity, usually about four to five weeks after transplant. Some crops, like lettuce, will be completely removed from the tower with the roots intact upon harvest. Other greens, like kale and mustard greens, can be trimmed several times before removing the entire plant. We can schedule plantings so that the farmer has a consistent harvest every week. For example, each week a farmer can produce about 500 full heads of lettuce or a little over a thousand mini heads of lettuce. There is a flexible amount of growing space in the mature growth section of the farm. That means you can grow 10 full heads of lettuce per tower or 17 mini heads. In total, the LGM has the capacity to grow over 4,500 plants at one time. We recommend farmers grow smaller, compact crops like leafy greens for a number of reasons. There are a lot of vertical towers positioned close together inside each LGM, and you want to make the most out of the growing space available. We've successfully experimented with a number of crops like strawberries, tomatoes, flowers, and even snap peas. But we found that these crops aren't the most efficient to grow. That's because many of the components inside the farm, like the lights, the nutrients, and the towers, are optimized for leafy green growth. If you're running the farm as a business, it makes more sense to be growing higher turnover, faster growing crops. We hope this gives you an inside look on what can grow inside the LGM.